this is why you check your oil and change it because if you don't this will happen see these are all out of the same engine which is kind of neat see this is a crankshaft uh... the bearings a little scored there not bad um... this bearing is horrible i mean it's trashed this bearing's perfect i mean it's immaculate this bearing's okay. <laughs> this piston is in okay shape. I mean, it's not really scored, but because there's still the um, machine marks going that way across it, and I can still even it's a little discolored, but I mean still not that bad of horn. Look at the connecting rod on it. Is that bad or what? I mean, look. It just beat the bearing to, like, tin foil, and it tore it off right there. I mean, it, it hangs over the edge. I, it's garbage. <laughs> now I know why it was seized. <laughs> Here's the end cap. It's horrible. Just nasty. And here's the other end cap out of the engine. It's imperfect. Not scored nothing. It's crazy. And here's the other piston. This side's fine. This side, that's after I cleaned it off. That's all burnt. That's a score marks. They're deep. It's like someone poured sand in this engine. But it's weird, because this is the bottom piston, which you'd think would be where all the oil is, so you wouldn't have any connecting rod problems. But this is the top of the engine, where you think you wouldn't have oil, and you'd have connecting rod problems. But then again, you have piston problems. So, I just kind of keep these around to be like, hey, this is why you change your oil. So, it's very strange the way it wore on this, but... That is why you change your oil.